Hello everyone, hope you're well. It's been days since I've done a video. I'm starting to feel really out of practice. It has been at least nine times that I've tried to start this vlog. Um, I'm just f twisting my words, messing, you know, fumbling over everything. I'm just gonna roll with it. You know, if I fumble, I'm sorry, but that's just the way it's gonna be, I think, while I try and uh, get back into the pace of it all. So, last I left, I was stressing out because I'd been trying to do a vlog. It was hot, my glasses were steaming. I don't know what was really going on. I think I was I think I was feeling quite burnt out. I'm in holiday mode. I finished work on Friday and I'm off for two weeks. And I think in my head I was a bit like, look, I just want to be there now. I'm fed up of being in. I'm fed up of doing stuff. I just want to chill. Um, weirdly, the fact that I then spent sort of Friday, I was at work. It was quite a quiet day. Did my podcast. Saturday and Sunday were really nice. Today's been quite a decent day at work. I feel really good at the moment. I think part of that's because I had quite a satisfying weekend of just chilling out with Claire and the kids. Part of that is because someone recommended that I buy CBD tablets, which are basically a cannabis oil, hemp extract type thing. I know that my dad had used them for pain in his knee, but someone recommended them for relaxing, for, you know, kind of easing off stress. And weirdly, while I'm talking, I'm noticing that my voice sounds calmer than normal. I wasn't, I don't know, I feel a bit better. The fact that I kind of cocked up the start of the video nine or ten times would normally have got me all hot and bothered and fed up and ranty but actually I feel all right I feel really in control and calm um which is you know it's positive now I didn't think after a couple of days they were having that much of an effect and they said to me you know it takes a couple of days just don't worry about it um and being me I was worrying I was thinking well what if he doesn't have an impact on me what if he doesn't work for me what if I'm not the sort of person that you know, can take these and, and feel the benefits of them. And I was all, all nervous and everything, as I would be. And then Friday, I was feeling okay, but it still wasn't great. I just, I think I just felt normal. Saturday, I noticed the impact straight away because the kids were just on one and we were going to go out. And I thought, right, we'll go out and we'll, we'll, we'll run them ragged and we'll wear them out and it'll be fine. And when we were on our way, they were just pecking and being naughty and misbehaving in the back. And I did the usual kind of, if you don't behave, we're not going to go. If you don't behave, we're not going to go. And I think we, we got maybe, well, actually, to be fair, we got all the way to Peter, a 20-minute journey, parked up, um, and then they just pecked that little bit too much. So I just started the engine and drove home and was like, if you can't behave, you're not going. And I thought to myself, I know me and I know how I'd have, I think I'd have been off the deep end a week ago. Um, and I thought, oh, they must be kicking in a bit. So that was interesting. By Saturday night, um, with the money we saved not taking the kids out, I invested in a bottle of gin and Claire and I had a nice Saturday night. We watched telly, we played games, we drank a bit of gin. I was so chilled out. I felt like I was on holiday at that point. And I thought, this is the feeling I've been craving from just being at work or whatever. I've just needed to chill out. And oh, I felt amazing. I woke up the next day and just thought... I want that again. I want that all the time. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not going to start chasing that. That uh, sort of... The scenario was just right. It was a satisfying day. Basically, when we got back and the kids had realised the error of their ways, we sat and we played Subterra, the board game that I'd got for my birthday off my mum. Um, now, I think I, des I described it on the podcast this week. So if you've listened to that, you'd already know this. But, sorry, my camera's wobbling a bit. Um, basically, the idea is it's a collaborative game where you try and escape a cave together. Each move, you have to pick up a card. You decide, we decided in advance whether you're going to jump straight in blind and do two moves or whether you're going to place a card down, see what it is, and then move into it if you want to. But that's your go over either way. And basically, you lay them down. Sometimes there's monsters, sometimes there's gas, sometimes there's rock slides, sometimes there's water. And different people have different abilities that mean they can either go through them or they can't. So we are all different characters. We played that for two hours. The kids were well into it. Um, I wasn't sure whether they would be. I wasn't sure whether they'd kind of be able to grasp the imagination of it all as well as you know I wanted them to. But they were well into it. And Ollie loved it. And he was playing along with everything. And sometimes he got a bit upset if his character was in jeopardy. But it worked out nicely for him or he found out because we were working together we protected him um i think he he got a lot from it because he learned about taking turns he learned about you know you are going to get hurt in this game sometimes but we can heal each other it's not the end of the world if it goes wrong it's only a game and all of this we we're fortunate that we all made it out alive it was a great game really enjoy it um i, I if I, i'm trying to think whether i could do a video of it to make it you know clear what it's like but um I think that was part of what built into the satisfaction because we, we sat and we did that. Then I watched Tottenham win and then we got the gin out after the kids had gone to bed, watched some TV. Claire's been playing the uh, Telltale Games um, 
the Guardians of the Galaxy game, which has been awesome. So as I say, when I woke up Sunday, I was just like, ah, oh, this is great. Um, I think we spent the whole of Sunday playing uh, Super Smash Bros. Ollie had dis I, I mentioned this on Twitter, but Ollie had discovered the theme tune. He's probably one of the most epic songs ever. It's called, uh, oh, what's it called? Life Light, Light Life, something like that, Life Light. You can look it up on Spotify. It's um, the theme tune to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. It's this very, like, rocky song sung by a woman and he loved it he was bouncing around the house to it for like half an hour straight just putting it on loop it's probably about an hour in the end actually i heard the song about 20 times it was ridiculous but he absolutely loved it i played it for him when i picked him up today and he was delighted um but again we all just felt really good and really positive and i think that's because when they started i just put a lid on it i didn't go with it so i think claire was able to if i wasn't flapping claire was more able to cope um by like the end of yesterday i felt just completely my shoulders aren't tense they're not sore um i wasn't getting as like oh this is frustrating um i felt more in control of being able like ollie was we went out to catch shiny pokemon because again i've had a really bizarre week a very satisfying week there where every day today's the first day in seven days that i've not had a shiny pokemon and i was loving that but ollie was obviously getting upset because he wants shiny pokemon and I kept saying to him, you need to come out with me, you need to come out with me. So we went out for a drive and he was getting really upset because I caught one immediately and he didn't get one in an hour of searching. But again, because I felt better, because I felt more chilled out, because my fuse seemed to be a bit longer from the fact that I'm basically self-medicating with ease, I felt really chilled out from it. Um, I just said to him, it's fine, don't worry, you know, I can give you some of mine, it'll be fine. Um, you know, he was, he was relieved, he was okay. Um, we kept looking, we didn't get anywhere, but... Um, today at work, normally, I hate it on a Monday because we have so many people in. Um, it's the day that we basically have all staff in the office and loads of visitors and it's just too hectic. Not like Tuesday to Friday, there's like four of us in the room most of the time on average and it's very chilled out. But Monday, absolutely everyone is in and I always find it really tense. And again, today I was just chilled out, relaxing and thought... I don't think that's normal me. I don't what I'm saying what I'm finding with this. I don't think that this is somehow making me different. What I think it is is I've just been so tense this past. I never used to be like this. Like I uh let's think back like well, five years ago when I started the job, I was missed to get on the phones, hammer the calls, you know, fearless whatever going out meetings and certainly other and over time I've slowly kind of become more I'm not going out, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that. And I think it's just because there's been other things in the background, other life stresses or whatever, and I've not been able to cope with these bits and pieces. But today, I, I don't know, it just, again, it felt different. It's been nice. Um, I do recommend it. If people are struggling, they're not that bad. Like, I think I got 120 for, uh, I want to say, £40, pound, which is, you take one a day, so that's f uh, four months' worth of tablets um so i'm thinking that's 10 10 pound a month roughly i think i was on a buy one get one half price deal but i just take them with my thyroid meds in the morning each day i've double checked that they don't clash um annoyingly it sort of says that but well, i say annoyingly as people who try too hard to claim they do this that and the other so online it's like it can cure this it can cure that i'm like i don't believe for a second it's going to cure my thyroid but it talks about potential uses in this that and you're like stop it there are a lot of people out there who want it to be good but i think it's quite well documented that it's very good at chilling people out and yeah it is working so yeah i'm very happy with that i didn't really intend this to be a full video about the wonders of it but claire was laughing because i mean she did say to me annoying typically just to wind me up like two three days in she was like thought it would have kicked in by now when I was getting a bit hit up and I was like that's not how it works Claire you know it's not going to click kick in in three days but um she was saying yes yeah, Saturday Sunday I seemed much more like I was calmer and it was having an impact and I think today it has really been having an impact um I feel good it's cool so yeah if you are interested, let me know and I'll send you some details. I don't get anything out of it. It's not an ad. I'm just saying if you need any help. I know there's going to be a lot of people who are probably in a similar position where they just feel like they're a bit hit up. This is the first time in ages that I've just not had a tense feeling in the back of my head, in my neck and my shoulders. Um, I slept so well last night. I've had, I had a really detailed 
deep dream and I haven't had that in ages and I think that's just because I'm relaxing a bit which is awesome um other stuff we've been up to what we've we been doing um I just mentioned the Smash Bros was taking over our lives we've got the Sims going now just because that oh, I was getting so like we're playing the same games over and over and over and over again um I'm trying to think we haven't really done much else it's like my mum left when she was visiting we watched the boys on Amazon that's really cool it's by the same bloke who wrote Preacher I was told by Pab at the weekend um other than that, you know, it's been a quite a chilled out, relaxing time. We've booked our Lego Adventure Day thing that we're doing on the 20th of August in Birmingham. So I'm looking forward to that. On the 19th, we plan to go to the Sea Life Centre there. Um, I'm looking forward to that. I can't wait. I do love the Sea Life Centre. Our plan is to stay, to visit the Sea Life Centre, stay in a hotel, go to Lego. Um, one of you recommended I go to Cadbury World. So we're going to do that in the afternoon, I believe. And then we're going to go home. I'm really excited about that. I think that'll be a cool two days. Um, I'm visiting my sister in Wakefield next week um on on the saturday and other than harry potter world i think we're just chilling for the rest of it um i thought i'd had some ideas for my birthday but uh, i'm i keep flipping and for, i keep forgetting them my memory is terrible i keep forgetting what i was going to put on my list um but no i'm excited about all that and it's ben's birthday coming up as well which i'm super excited about um but yeah it's been a decent week i feel like we need to do some stuff. It can't all be me just talking at a camera. I will be filming when we're at the Sea Love Centre and Lego and, and Cadbridge World because I think they'll be fun. Um, yeah, it's just been generally cool. And I'm going to wrap up there, I think, because... Oh, yeah, the one other thing, actually. My friend Shelley, bless her. I don't know why she did it, but she randomly, because I was talking about the vegetarianism and the dietary stuff, she bought this, I think it's called Vegain. It's like a chocolate powder. You, you put a scoop of it in 300 millilitres of water and then like shake it up and drink it and it's your protein for the day. And do you know what? I was apprehensive because I was like, this is this just looks like brown slush and I'm a bit like, what's it going to taste like? Is it going to taste like chocolate? Um, Emily had a spoonful of it before I tasted it and she was like, yeah, it's really good. It's really good. Um, I was midway through the glass when I thought I should have done this as a video. I should have. I'm, I'm a terrible YouTuber. I'm so sorry that I suck at this. I need to get better at this. I need to go on a YouTube crash course or something. But um, no, I had it and it's delicious. And yeah, I'm glad they recommended it to me. Um, I still think she's mad, bless her for buying it, but very, you know, very kind of you. Thank you. I know she watches. And um, yeah, I want Claire to drink it, but she was feeling, every time I've asked her, she's like, I feel a bit icky. I don't want to drink it. Um, I think she'll benefit from it a lot. I was trying to get my, I got a colleague who's vegan and I was saying to him, you should try it. And he's like, he said he hasn't looked at it before. Um, but it's a big old tub. So you have one of them a day and that's equivalent of, I think a lump of meat I was reading, a lump of chicken. Um, so that's interesting, but no, that's cool. I think there's nothing really else gone on. Bit of a bit of a quiet one, but I do feel very chilled out. Um, I'm. I think what I'm happy about, what's making me feel the best out of this, is normally my mind's running a mile a minute, and it's kind of scatty and erratic and thinking about things. And I feel like while I'm doing the videos, I don't know, like I'll notice something, I'll be thinking about something, I this, that, and the other, and. I'm not doing that. I can feel, I can feel my brain is just going with what I'm saying, what I'm thinking, what I'm doing. I just feel slightly slower and in a good way. And I haven't been, I don't know, hopefully this will continue and I'll understand it more and it'll feel better. Maybe in a week I'll be doing the videos and I'll be really different. I don't know. But right now I just feel like it's nice. It's good. And yeah, I feel cool about that. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Watch this space. I'll catch up with you on Wednesday. Cheers.